Hey there, it's Brenda Meller with Meller Marketing. I'm recording my audiobook for Social Media Pie, How to Enjoy a Bigger Slice of LinkedIn. And I'm just really starting to dig into using Audacity software. And I just learned something that I want to share with other people that are producing an audiobook. So a couple of things I haven't found in other videos, and I've kind of stumbled across them, and they've been very helpful to me. The first is after I've completed doing a recording in the menu bar at the top, you'll see the little plus sign, minus sign to zoom in, and then there's two um, images next to it. One says fit selection to width, and the other one says fit project to width. So if you click on that, you can actually see the length of your entire project all at once. The other thing is I've been using a little hand clicker. It's like a pet training tool. Let me just show you what it sounds like. So you can hear that loud clicking sound. What I have discovered is that sometimes my voice talks a little louder, like I just did right now, and it creates an audio spike. So sometimes it's hard for me to tell where the clicker is being used. And I've been using the clicker anytime I make an audio mistake to kind of note it in the audio so that I can go back and repeat it. Now, if I do two clicks in a row like this, and almost, you know, like a half a second apart, it creates a longer bar that I can visually see. And looking at the screen right now, can you guys see where I have this audio error in place here? It's really easy to see. It's at about the five minute mark in between five minutes and I think 5.05. So you can see with the double lines in there that it's a little bit easier to see where those clickers have been used. Now to identify what is the error, all I need to do now is click on the plus symbol and bring it up a little bit larger so I can see it. And then what I found is helpful is if I go to the place in the audio where I start the re-recording and listen to it, let me show you this right now. So I can see where I'm starting my text, then I go back before and I try to identify where I started that first same paragraph. Let me see if it's right here. See right there. And you heard the audio mistake. So now I know what I need to do is go in here and just highlight and select it and drag all the way through those big clicker marks. You can see those visually on here. And then I click on the little cut and I delete out that audio clip. And that will take out my hiccups as well as those two audio clicks. And let me just play back now the completed section of this piece. There we go. So now no audio glitches. The mistake has been made. And if I pull my full audio transcript up large, you can see there's no double lines anywhere. The long line that you see right now, that's the last point I listened to the audio. So hopefully this is helping you other would-be authors out there. If you are recording an audio book or you have a printed book and you're using LinkedIn to get the word out, please look me up and check out the links below. I'd love to help you with using LinkedIn to get out the word. Have a wonderful day. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and look forward to additional strategy tips and updates like these.